In the next sheet of our file, we are going to combine the first name and last name in order to create a full name. For this, again, we start with a function with the equal sign. And what we need is one of the most famous functions of Excel, function concatenate. Open parenthesis. Then we click the cells where the values will be coming from. So for example, if we want first name space last name, then we have to call on these cells inside concatenate. So concatenate, open parenthesis. We click the first cell, A4, because this contains the first name. Comma. Now, we cannot just click B4 where the last name is because if we do this, we are combining A4 and B4, yes, but they will combine without any space in between. So what we are going to do is right after A4, comma, we are going to put a space. But you don't just put a space like typing a space as it is. You need something that will hold the space so that Excel will keep that or will see that as a significant value. And that is the job of the quotation marks. Quotation marks can be used to hold characters, texts, words, or anything that has no numerical value. For example, the space. The space here is inside a quotation mark for a set of quotation marks. And because of that, Excel will see the space as a significant value and therefore will be included in the concatenation of texts. Next, after the comma, we then get cell B4 because that's where the last names are. Close, enter, and you should have Ryan space long, which is the first name, A4, space, and then the last name. Now, just to emphasize, the purpose of the quotation marks is to use them whenever you are going to add letters, words, string of characters inside formulas. For example, if I'm going to put Mr. slash Miss here in my formula, I cannot just do it like this because if I do that, I will get an error. Mr. Miss is text or string or letters. Therefore, this text must be inside quotation marks. There, the Mr. Slash Miss is now inside quotation marks, comma, proceed to the next cell, A4, comma, again, the space inside quotation marks, comma, the last name, B4, close, enter, and you should have the full name with the prefix Mr. Slash Miss. However, our answer is still is not satisfying. The first letters of the names must be capitalized. And if you still remember back in our first lesson, in order to capitalize the first letter of each word, we need the function proper. And with that, we are going to use proper and use that to enclose what we concatenated inside. So proper did not just converted one cell, it, just like our previous examples, rather it converted the answer of the concatenate formula that we have. Enter, double click, and now you have the full name with Mr. Slash Miss as a prefix, and we also use proper in order to capitalize the first letter of each word. So now you see that we need to combine functions in order to achieve our goals. Concatenate combined the values together while proper formatted them in order for them to look better.